Hey there, super friends. Jonathan Levy here, and I am joined by Aaron of Four Sigmatic at the Four Sigmatic Shroom Room. And in this video, we're gonna talk to you about the amazing variety of health benefits that you can get from mushrooms. Stick around. Hey there, super friends, Jonathan Levy, and I am joined with Aaron at the Four Sigmatic Shroom Room, where I'm learning about all kinds of medicinal and homeopathic, I guess you would say, mushrooms. Aaron, how you doing? Doing well. Awesome. So for our audience uh, who may not know that I've been a huge fan of the Four Sigmatic product line for pretty much ever, mm -hmm. <laughs> since I think pretty much since you guys launched, uh, Tell us a little bit about mushrooms. I mean, something most Westerners don't know about and uh, and I think are really missing out. Cool. So for the functional mushrooms, we like to call these functional, you know, uh, give them um, the, we like to talk about them having sort of superpowers. Um, so each one has a special function. Um, but to, to talk about mushrooms, you gotta go kind of way back and say that they've been used in shamanic medicine, Chinese medicine for so long. Um, and they are really a staple of those types of approaches. Um, so we use 11 different mushrooms in our products wow. and we make the extracts uh, readily available in delicious ways. Incredible. And I really like the way that Taro, the founder of Four Sigmatic, who, by the way, just wrote a new book that you guys should check out, Santa Sold Shrooms. Uh, really, really cool. I know this is his second book. The first one is all about healing mushrooms. So the topic we're talking about today, this one's more of a entertaining, I think, book. Um, I really like the way that he explained it, which is, you know, in the plant kingdom, we have plants that will get you high and plants that will make you sleep and plants that will heal your gut. And the truth is most people don't realize like there's animalia and then there's plants and then there's a whole separate kingdom of mushrooms that also, there are mushrooms that'll get you high. There are mushrooms that'll help you get, well, why don't we go through some of them, right? So you've got lion's mane mushroom, which is this handsome looking fellow. And this guy will stimulate you, right? Tell me Absolutely. a little bit of, you know, who these mushrooms are and what they do and- Absolutely. Yeah. So for something like lion's mane, um, over time, that's gonna kind of bring some things back, potentially that have been lost in your nervous system. Really? So it helps to regrow myelin, helps to, helps to bring health to your neurons. Um, by increasing nerve growth factor year over year. So really? it's a really good one to use in the long term. I've been drinking this for years and I didn't know that. You're you're lucky. Yeah, you got access to it. Um, so over the short term, it's more about the focus and clarity you're going to get. Right. Um, so you really feel that mental boost. Right. Uh, Even if you don't drink it with the caffeine, right? Because oh, yeah. when I drink it with the caffeine, I realize pretty quickly that pro tip for you guys, this goes a lot further than they say, because if I do the three tablespoons, I'm like on jet fuel. Absolutely. Yeah. You don't need the caffeine. If you're not somebody that drinks coffee, if you just want to do, you know, get the benefit of the functional right. mushroom, you have the option of doing the elixir. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a nice high dose of that, that mushroom, about 1500 milligrams. Wow. That's what's in our elixirs. And then you also have the cordyceps. Uh, that's, that one's going to be a bit, a bit stimulating, but not the same as coffee. It's going to give you lots of energy by oxygenating your body, right. supporting your body to produce yes. actual energy through ATP. This guy that yeah. you guys can check out, um, Pretty, pretty interesting. And cordyceps grows on, and it, and eventually it grows on insects. So are these actually insects? No. Those are little mealworms. So they've wow. actually been taken over by this parasitic fungus. Wow. So in order to grow uh, cordyceps, unfortunately, you got to lose a little mealworm. Unfortunately, in the wild, yes. But in uh, in our um, in our growing, we use rice. So we're actually able to grow it in a way that's not killing many insects yeah we're, we're making all of our products vegan actually incredible incredible so and you figured out a way to get the cordyceps just to grow right on there yep that's yep. cool because i can you can actually see you know the mushroom coming out of the mealworm's head yes um and i've seen this also happen to ants in the wild yeah there's pretty so really videos online to check yeah out. and uh really really cool i read that a few years ago the chinese uh i think it was olympic marathon team mm was using cordyceps, which is completely legal because it's a natural herb, or, or in this case, fungus. <laughs> and they were using it to increase VO2 max, and it actually gave them a pretty significant advantage. Yeah. So this is why I consume the cordyceps, uh, and I really, really enjoy it. 
Tell me about this uh, handsome character. Yeah, so this one looks kind of like Bark. Chaga is the name of this one. This uh, this little beauty has a ton of antioxidants. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to really support the immune system to function efficiently and, and, and keep you from getting sick. Right, um, right. And you guys have uh, somewhere, if I just step out of, out of frame, here we go. It is. This is the one that I consume before I fly. Um, how, do you know how this works? How this actually gets my immune system on overdrive? Yeah, in a, in a way, it's going to be the antioxidants, uh, beta glucans. Uh, you're getting, you're going to get a little bit of support from also melanin, which protects you from getting sun damage. Really? Yeah. So that's a little bit of a special that. benefit of that one. That's very useful here in Southern California. Uh, true. Awesome. And what I really like, and the reason that I drink this coffee instead of all the other delicious coffees like the Adaptogen one, is this one gives me both the chaga and the lion's mane. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it picks me up and kind of fortifies me. Uh, and I think that's part of the reason why I don't get sick as much as I used to. Absolutely. The chaga, it's really wonderful to, to use in conjunction with coffee because it's alkaline. So those alkaline minerals actually come in to play with the coffee and balance out the acidity and make it less... Uh, make it very smooth. So yeah. our coffees are really excellent for that purpose. Right, and I was really, really happy uh, because the instant coffee is convenient and everything, but I really like my, you know, my uh, French press oh, yeah. for creating a real proper cup of coffee. So I was stoked when you guys came out of this and I migrated my whole household and even my parents' household to that product. Um, and then the last character that we have here, I know you guys do 11 mushrooms, but it, I mean, this almost looks plastic. Yeah, Reishi is actually quite beautiful. This fanned out mushroom uh, is the queen. Uh, Chaga is actually the king of mushrooms. So okay. we just covered that. But when you go to the queen, it's considered the mushroom of immortality in Chinese medicine because it's really just layers upon layers of benefits. Yeah. Um, but we like to say that some of the main benefits of Reishi are that it's going to help you get into deeper sleep, right. which is just vital. Yeah. Not just fall asleep, but actually have that real deep quality sleep that you right. need more of in order to feel rested, but I definitely it, notice that. So if you feel more rested, everything else, everything else works better. Totally, totally. And uh, I've noticed that if you want to go to sleep, it'll put you to sleep, but it's not like taking in a sleeping pill or some melatonin that yeah. will just put you to sleep. Exactly. Like I've found that I can, I can consume kind of one of these superfood blends uh, in the middle of the day. And the fact that it has reishi doesn't really bother me. Yeah, absolutely. Really, um, really cool. So reishi uh, actually also helps deal with you know things like stress. Mm -hmm. So throughout the day, it's a really nice one to have on hand and if you're ever getting a little overwhelmed. Right, and I know you guys also have a mushroom coffee which has astragalus, which is really helpful. Astragalus is a mushroom or? No, so the adaptogen coffee does not have any mushrooms in it. That's the only product we make without mushrooms. So the astragalus and uh, Tulsi have been used to help you know balance out the stress. Um, little fun fact, we actually just released a new formulation of that product with, uh, instead of astragalus, it's ashwagandha and eleuthero and Tulsi. I gotta try that one. Yeah, it's nice. So it got rid of uh, kind of a little bit of the tartness that might have been in there before. Right. It's right. still yummy and cinnamony. And what's the idea behind the uh, ashwagandha? Uh, it's again, it's gonna be, you know, more calming. Uh, help, help the system to just, you know, be right. calm, balance Right, cortisol. right, right. Lower cortisol, things like that. Exactly. Very, very cool. Where do you recommend people start? I mean, you guys have 11 mushrooms, all kinds of different mixes and matches. Um, I know that I really like this, but I have always really liked stimulants. You know, I spent 15 years before I discovered this product taking Ritalin every day. Mm. Uh, this product, by the way, is a large part of the reason that I was able to go off of prescription stimulants. Uh, you have people coming into the store every single day. What do you recommend? Where do you recommend people start? How do you recommend people safely experiment with these products? Sure. Um, so in general, um, we, we, you know, mushrooms are going to be pretty safe, but, um, I would also say, you know, talk to doctor and things like that. If you really have these deep questions about specific things, always, always good advice. <laughs> but when, uh, when you're starting out, um, I kind of want to ask, you know, are you looking for caffeine or I ask, you know, what sort of specific function are you looking for? Like yes. in your day, do you need something to help you focus? Do you need something to rev you up and help you right. perform and go to the next level of your workout? Maybe you want something to help you sleep. Um, so it's all about functionality. And time of day, I guess. Um, True. You know, one thing that I've always wondered, I consume these products pretty religiously. Uh, what's kind of a good balance of not going overboard? Because it, it would be super easy to like wake up first thing in the morning, drink your cordyceps, come home an hour later, drink your, your coffee, 
then you know drink the chaga in the middle of the day like you could there's one for every couple hours in the day how much is kind of the recommended dose like two or three different packets a day depending on the time or you're definitely asking somebody that uses a lot so i'm, I'm <laughs> if there is such a thing as an upper limit i'm definitely you know i'm gonna approach it well you're point. surrounded I, people can't <laughs> see what's off screen here but you're surrounded by like five thousand boxes of this stuff yeah everywhere but- and it's you know I feel blessed to be around all of it because I get to try it all but it's um, you know a lot of them are going to be adaptogenic so they're going to um, you know rev up the body if they need to or they're going to you know kind of calm themselves down if they need to there's a real smart um, intelligence behind the mushroom there but I would say um, it's going to be a bio individual thing so yeah. each each person is going to be a bit different I think that's really important and I think it's really important to point out like you said the mushrooms aren't going to be the problem and it's not like uh, as much as I like, you know, my bulletproof coffee just as much as anyone else, it's not like you're introducing a ton of fat that you need to watch out for. And it's not like you're introducing a, a reasonable amount of acidity because this actually has less acidity than a, co- a normal coffee product. Yeah. And it has less caffeine, so you don't have to worry about diuretic factor and things like that. Um, yeah. really so my recommendation for people uh, always has been start with a mushroom coffee because I think you guys are right that, you know, the mushrooms themselves are uh, pretty bitter. And people are used to consuming bitter when it comes to like uh, cacao, which mm-hmm. by the way, this is also an awesome product if you're on a caffeine off day, because this one has almost no caffeine, right? True. Um, yeah, just a little bit in the cacao. A little bit, a little bit in yeah. the cacao. Depends on sensitivity. So really good. I know a lot of people cycle off caffeine. This is really great because it has, you know, different mushrooms and you can cycle off and still have the ritual of drinking mm-hmm. something warm and bitter in the morning. Uh, but I really like the idea of like, you're already drinking coffee, which you're used to being bitter have it with your lion's mane mm-hmm. and Absolutely. of course your chaga awesome aaron at four sigmatic thank you my friend this has been super educational and if you guys want to check out any of the four sigmatic products we've actually partnered with them and we can get you guys i think it's a 20 percent, 15 or 20 percent discount on the entire range 15 15 percent <laughs> we're being told off camera off the entire range of four sigmatic products i use them i recommend them i love them I'm probably going to clean out this entire store after we're, we're finished recording. And you can check that out in the link below. Thanks for watching.